Whip, what? Okay. <laughs> oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your forgetful Captain Hillian today. Let me just turn that on on this side as well. I thought it was already on. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Peterson First Midrakir at your service. And welcome back to Prince of Persia on the Sands of Time. Our second stream of this because we did a, a double length stream of this on our stream anniversary some time back. Or our second yeah. stream anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Was not that mean. Wasn't that long ago, month wise? Yeah. Last month or something, perhaps. Uh, I'm, I'm bad with time. Oh, yeah. But yeah, now that we're done with uh, Tomb Raider and. <clears throat> yeah. Tomb Raider and. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Now that we're done with Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones for the moment, because I do plan to stream more games of those franchises, uh, we'll be continuing with this game and its sequels. And yeah, I don't really have anything in mind to put in between, so we can basically go from Sands of Time to Warrior Within to the Two Thrones, and then as an extra, even though it isn't part of this game's time, if of this timeline, it will also do the. I think it came out in 2008, the 2008 uh, Prince of Persia, the painting one. <clears throat> the what now? Yeah, the, <laughs> this very shell-shaded oil painting-like one. Oh, uh, okay, well, you meant that way. I thought, wait, we're gonna, you're gonna spend two hours doing painting? <laughs> the Prince of Persia did not make a Mario paint, no. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been interesting. What... You, you used your moment made me worried for that. <laughs> Can you Either blame way. me? Either way, last time we had a bit of an issue of the mouse getting outside of the game, but that should have been fixed because I figured out what, well, how to fix that with Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, and I applied the same fix here. But enough chatter. Let's continue on with the game. We're, we got 62% in in four hours. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, we did play quite a long time with that one. <laughs> yeah, four hours total. So, I, I very much doubt we'll be able to finish it in uh, just another stream. I think we'll get at least one more out of it. <laughs> it would be interesting. To... <laughs> it would be comical if you, if you ended up finishing it in 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, what happened last time? Uh, there's no need to... Save again, let's replay the vision. Okay, Farah, running our way. Okay. Oh, yeah, last time we played as the prince, we well conquered I forget if the place is named, we for, we conquered some place. And, uh, yeah, things went to hell, and we've had to kill the prince's own father, and a lot of other sand-possessed uh, servants and others. Uh, let me see. There we go, right mouse button was it to interact. There we go, just fill up. Yeah, with how dry this place must be, any water must taste as refreshing as possible. Let's yeah, see. but... Um, okay. Oh, it's that's that's a rope. Okay then, it's you. Uh, okay, I s no. How are you? That's not of any use to us. <laughs> this is, I think, this is the first rope that we found. So, uh, how can I? Put it? There we go. Okay, with the. Right mouse button, we can swing. We can see what we need to do. We need to hit these buttons, of course. Okay. Jump off, jump back. Now that opens up. But there's another one. So there. And there we go. Nice that it wasn't timed, at least. Let's see. I believe we're in the Hanging Gardens. We've been split up from Farah for a bit. Oop. Hello there. Just blunt that dagger even more. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while since we played, so it will take me some getting used to it again. 
let's see. We have a switch here that brings that out. And that's going to stay out. Okay. Uh, of course, that's going to activate more traps. <laughs> okay, now we have to rush across. Let's pull that back so we have the absolute most amount of time. Um, that one came back. Okay. Yep, yep. That was the Hold on a second. You, you timed that poorly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do... Let me, yeah. We jump with that. I just pressed it too late or something. Hmm. Okay. Uh, actually, that's the same timing I went with last time, so let's not. We need to have to have be behind us by the time we come forwards. So now, there, then, up, up, up. It's too late for that. There we go. Jump to avoid those. Power off. Are you there? There we go. Is that you? Here I am. Okay, the audio is still a bit weird in that the, the volume is, seems to bend on how on how far away the characters are from the cameras. Yeah, uh, I feel like. We had the same issue when we played on our PlayStation, me and another friend, long ago. Go. And I think, Go, he, big pow. Fuck I think you bought uh, a special collection with all three games on the same CD. Ah, right, that. Some enemies will do a light attack or a low attack, would be a better. That uh, you can't block. You need to jump over that one. Okay. Now, how do we deal with the blue guys? Like that. There we yeah, that, that's how we dodge that. Okay. Beyond that, we can deal with most enemies by jumping over them, giving them a whack with the sword, and then stabbing them with the dagger. Okay. The blue guys, we can't do that with because they will... Well, they'll counter-attack us. If we do... Okay. Oh. Ah, that was a bit of a waste. Ah. Uh, why is the camera... The camera keeps going behind the tapestries. Okay. She, she blocked that. Okay. Okay. I want to finish these. Two. There we go. Okay, at least we can mostly deal with them. Two. Like that. Okay, we need to be careful. We can parry most of their attacks, but not all of them. You just get rid of you quickly. Just need one hit to launch them and then to bisect them. But we don't get any sand from that. Is it just me or most of the sand glow in the in all the possessed bellies? Yep. There we go. Any more? Yes, I, I, I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Yeah, the, I think that's actually recommended. Uh, keep your nose and mouth shut around the sand, and you will hopefully won't get possessed. Good. There was a death blow. Let's rewind from that. Okay. Did they hit each other? Pretty of you. Sure. As much of a threat, but they are very defensive. And they can hit each other, which is good for us. How many more are there? Wait, 
We haven't seen this spearman do that happen, right? Uh, what exactly? Hit each other. Now, I think they have hit other targets besides us with their long swings. That's yes, everyone coming. Okay, knock both of these down. Up. And I overcommitted a bit too much. Okay. We've talked about this during our double stream. But... Oop. You do have to commit some time into your attacks here. So you will leave yourself vulnerable to attacks if you're trying to... If you're trying to re retrieve sand from something. Like, I can't just... I can't just hit block and it'll immediately counter. Or block. I need to do it at least half a second before. And that just... That barely missed. <laughs> that barely missed. But it goes to show that the hitboxes in this game are really good. I blinked and missed. Yeah, he brought his blade down like an inch behind our ass. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Yeah, th that trick works on basically everything as long as they can't block the second attack. But it doesn't work on everything all the time, especially if they are crowded together. Because then their defenses cover each other. So ah. Let's just drink this totally not sandy water. <laughs> now. Where the hell is she? Let's see. We have a gate there. With sand on the other side. Let's see if this gives us any insights. Okay, we need to bust through some walls, move a statue. Okay. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Hmm. Yeah, we do have this upgraded sword that lets us bust down damaged walls. Are any of these hiding a wall like that, perhaps? Nope. Not this one. Hello? That one's hiding a low... More. <laughs> That's the comical. The bathroom <laughs> wall is like, hello. <laughs> can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Once. Ah. No, we, we are not Farah. <laughs> oh. Stay there. I'll come to you. There. You just heard her. Oh, uh, she's on the other side of the wall there. And there's sand creatures. Uh, oh, we're over here now. Let's grab this quick. Yeah. And that's another sand tank, I believe. Nice. But if... Okay, I'll visit it. Big if. Big if whenever they release the remastered version of this game. I hope they fix the sound. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Brother. it was supposed to be out by now. But yeah, that's I haven't heard of it. There she was. Yeah. But yeah, like the the music is fine, the gameplay is fine with uh, most and all that. But I mean, people may have noticed besides doing the first team doing this that we have other concerns with the the, the um, yeah. You probably even heard it earlier the whole dialogue issue. That we have no subtitle, and sometimes you can barely hear the character at all. Yeah. Yep. Help me. And it is due to what Hillian said earlier. It, the camera reacts to how far away you are from the character. Yeah, the volume is dependent on how far. Yeah. What does Which, you sure. Oh. Yeah. It makes sense in real life, but it's a pretty bad thing in game. Yeah, you stay down. Okay, there we go. 
Farrah proving a very capable combat companion in this, even if she has shot us in the ass multiple times. <laughs> so we just stab that in the, in the back. Put more of them. Yeah, I think you just hit her between the spine and the pelvis bone. This is probably a very bad thing to get hit on. Yeah, that would likely be a ow, paralyzing strike. Still got me. But it would probably outright deadly. I, th I think there's plenty of important organs. Like, if you are able to penetrate through the spine all the way through, you probably hit a few organs there. Oh. So he's dealing with one of the dancers. Up, ow. Okay, I don't know any specific ways to really break their defense, other than to stab them with the dagger. Or to jump over the, uh, anything. But, yeah, jumping over doesn't work with the blue guards. Don't ship him, ow. And sometimes they will just pull off a guard right like there. You know, technically they shouldn't have a and okay. <laughs> Just stab them in the imaginary something. Ow. Okay, ladies. One. Nope. I think so. I think Farah just saved us from an attack in the back there. Okay. Yes, yes, I see him. Um... Okay. You know, I, I think we've kind of hit our peak of difficulty at the moment. Like, the, the, the barracks fight was the most difficult so far. So, mostly we're just dancing around here. Plus, Fera is helping. Go. These are the last two, I hope. There we go. Get me voluntarily. Okay. A good old light puzzle. Start the story from here next time. Don't leave me, my love. Please don't leave me. Wait, what? What did you call me? It doesn't matter. The important thing is, I know how we can reach the Tower of Dawn. Of course, the hourglass. All right. But this time, stay with me and pay attention. Can't spend all day chasing after you. A bit windy in here. <laughs> yeah. Where the lip syncing off for? Yeah, I believe it's been a bit off with the audio and the video since the start. But yeah. Oops, she controls oh, yeah. through that. What are you waiting for? Please. Do you mean to say you actually need my help? Yes. Oh well, in that case. Vera is really soft in, in her voice here and there, even when we just upright closed with her. Yeah. Again, I think we had the same problem when we played on PlayStation. When they I'm afraid what, I think what we did play a special trouble? edition. But all three games was on the same CD. Okay. And by then you thought they would have fixed it, but no, no, they didn't. Yeah, this is the original PC release, and yeah, on a re-release like that, you would expect them to have fixed it. Yeah, they didn't. There you are. Are you sure I'm not slowing 
All right, all right. I, 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 I I'm gonna watch Mr. Bus talk about this game again. For I think he had say said the same thing. It's, we've got a mirror right over there, and we've got a bunch of guards. To we must have come out the wrong side of the baths. We'll need to go back through the royal palace. All right, then. Let's find the way out. Okay, keep those arrows out of my ass this time, Farah, please. Oh, dear. I was half expecting her to shoot one in me right there and then. Up. Oh. Kind of. Okay. You. Don't. you. And yes, if I'm not super talking to TV, it's because I'm munching on Pringles. Uh, of course. Which I'm, I will admit, I'm kind of happy but sad also they're not as crunchy they are as all on commercials. Okay. Cool. They seem mostly focused on us, which is good. You are easy to Yeah, the thing. If there were crunchers in the commercials, I think that by shooting them would probably have driven Healer insane by now. <laughs> Good chance. Also, so uh, Pringles are the chips for our scaly parrots? <laughs> oh. Can't can repeat that. <laughs> I don't know if I heard you. Not him, Prince. <laughs> okay, we'll deal with this one first. Yeah, these guys do remain a danger, especially once they stop focusing on us. But yeah, you can't really block arrows with a pole arm like that, so Farah does have an advantage over them. Ow, oh, damn it. Well, you could probably do it just... Not easy. Not easy at all. It's almost a point of uh, luck. Yep. Overcommitted. Yep. How did that? How did that not hit the other one? Okay, deal with Blue Boy. Stop you in the back. Okay. Yeah, I remember most of our tactics of this. Ah, damn it! Yeah, don't let them gang up on you. What hurt? What? What? Vera, was that you? Wait. Her adult does damage you? Yep. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit, but it still hurts. Okay, thin the ranks. Should not have gone for that. Oh, we... And we have no recharge back. Or... That's not how it happened. Okay, that... That went mostly well. Oh, dear. Oh, hello. All right, then. Let's find the way out. Wait, what? We pulled some sort of counter there. Okay, I'm going to need to look into that. So we'll try it out. Oop. Like, we block, we parried him, and then we immediately stabbed him. Not too late there. 
Yeah, I think I recognize that. We can get underneath their guards out after blocking them. Or just attacking them from behind. Can we... Come on, one of you. I probably shouldn't risk it too much since we're already almost down to half health. Not too late. Yeah, let's rewind after that one. <laughs> that was a big hit. Okay. Hmm. It just shows that the combat in this game is deeper than you keep thinking it is. Okay, next wave. Like they know we are going to swing, so they can block our attacks from the front that easily out. Uh, that's just ganging up, come on. <laughs> well, it does make sense for them to gang up. Okay, this is a large investment of this. Get away. Oh, damn it. That's what I wanted. Okay, quickly grab you. Okay, fair got a good shot in there right past us. I'm gonna move my Pringles into the bowl. Okay. I think I can guess why. Uh, Rather, okay, we... I think everyone can guess why I'm moving Pringles into a bowl instead of its tube. Because there are no reasons to get out. Yeah. Like, sure, you can stuff your hand in, but that's annoying. You can also turn it upside down, but then you have a risk of it flying everywhere if you're very unlucky. Okay. And I think this should be it. And... That's not it. I still don't know what that fluttering noise is during some of the attacks. Okay, knock you down as well. Thank you, Farah. Oh, you thought you hit him. Quickly. And they will give us some time if we're already in the absorbing animation. So they do... Uh, the game is a bit generous with that. But if we're trying you know, to do it whilst they're already attacking, then they will hit us. So yeah, there is a bit of a balance in that. You off of Farah, even though you're focused on me apparently. Not the brightest guards in the barracks. Is that it? Still more? Come on. I just now realize you're in the library. Yep. And the save file, or the type, yeah, the area, the area that was named in the save file that we came out of, uh, basically confirms that the chain enemies are Unix, because, well, it was called the Sultan's Harem. Oh. Uh, of course, they're only going to let Unix in there. Of course. And also, I think the librarian is likely yeah. going to be very pissed. Uh, I think we probably killed them like two waves back. <laughs> there we go. Okay, protect... Pro Attracted, but fair fight. 
Now we just need to find the fountain. Ah, here's the one. Fountain? There we go. Did I see something move on the right of the screen there? Hmm. Okay, we've got a bunch of these mirrors. Oh. Let's see. Can we pull this? No, we can't. Okay, there's a, some mark on the floor it here. Like it's about to fall down. Okay, and I'm guessing we need to put this one in that spot as well. The very grimy spot that hasn't been cleaned in forever. Probably because this was stored on top of it. Okay. Got the light entering here. There's a crack. I'll go. Okay. Just don't run off too far again. She said my love. I know she did. I didn't dream it. At least, I think I didn't. It's quite natural, really. Her kingdom's conquered. She has nothing, no one to protect her. She needs me. I can see it in the way she looks at me. All I'd have to do is reach out and take her hand, and she'd be mine. Why am I talking to myself? <laughs> this is one of the rare few moments you can hear him clearly without I'm issue. Sure. Yeah. So he's up somewhere. Yeah. We already had it set up perfectly for this. Yeah, and again, if they do release the remastered, I hope it's good and they have fixed it's... the damn sound issue for... I think this one of the rare games we have had accidentally talked over them a little bit. Yeah. Many times. Like, typically, now and then... Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, typically, there are subtitles to, to tell us to shut up and such. But, yeah, no dice in this case. Yeah. And it gets even more of an issue where we can barely hear them. Yeah. There's something odd about this tickets. Mm. Hello. Look, it's the same symbol that was on the pillar. Stay there. I'll come to you. Okay, that brings that out. Let's see, we have this here. I don't see any light coming towards it, but the that's the it's end no point. Use moving the mirror. There's no light beam. I can see that. <laughs> cranky much? Uh, oh, that cranky Kong wants his crank back, Prince. Let's see. This way. Alright. And then we go, and there. All right. And of course, this activates the moment we get close. What the heck? Yeah, apparently when someone forgets to turn in their, their borrowed books, they get sent up here. Oh, no, then. gods. Oop. Ah, damn it. Get away. Why are you here? Oh, wait. I forgot to know why. Yeah, because this place is so bloody tall. Plenty of places for them to hide. Oh, well, no, uh, I was not thinking of that. I was thinking of uh, you may have paused the horror section. That works as well. <laughs> okay, what? This is very blowy, very hazy. Let's see. Is this? Yes, it is another one. It's been a bit since we've found one of these. I don't think there's anything related to these things for giving an extra ending or something. But it's best that we find all of them, because, well, more health is more, <laughs> more use in the fights, of course. Yeah.
And I think it's hard to miss these. Like, I think I heard that you can get a bad ending if you miss one of them or something, but... I think... I think it was Mr. Muscle... Mac Muscle, I mean. Mac Muscle, not Mr. Muscle. Uh, I think you're thinking of Warrior Within. Because there's yeah, a bunch of shrines there that's... If you find all of them, you get the good ending. Yeah, I bet what's similar here from? as well. Probably is... Oh, probably was... It was hard to fail at that due to how linear this game is. No, we're not going to jump. We're not oh. going to jump that either. Okay. Oops, Hello there, there just H9. Yet. And let's see. Hello, my friend. Do you play on console or PC? This is the PC version of the game. And thank, welcome to the stream. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. If, as this place continues to crumble apart. <laughs> okay. Yeah, welcome. Yes. So, how, how are you doing, if I may ask? Uh, let's see. This way. There's a bunch of... There's a bunch of noises in this place, so that I remember hearing in Sacrifice as well. Get, get away. The audio balancing in this game drives me batty enough. I don't need you, lot extra. <laughs> okay. Okay. Down we go. Listen to Break this. our knees a bit. Of what use is reason against the power of love? Love is life. So if you want to live, die in love. Die in love if you want to stay alive. What's that supposed to mean? I thought you'd like it. <laughs> if you want to be useful, try finding a book that'll tell us how to get out of here. This isn't that kind of game. Game? She thinks this is a game. Uh, knock knock, fourth wall calling. <laughs> what the heck? What's uh, that? Oh, oh, I see. Uh, there's a mark on the ground here, so I'm guessing this one has to be here. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, welcome again to the stream, uh, just H9. Uh, do you mind if I just, uh, call... <laughs> uh, not sure where I was going, but, uh, mind if I just call you H9? Uh, let's see... Yeah, welcome to Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, PC release. And, uh, yeah, we've been we'd been going on this game for uh, quite a bit before. We actually did a four-hour stream of this a while back for our second, yeah, our second stream anniversary. Uh, wait, did they get part of... Okay, H9 is perfect. Okay. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit finicky. Uh, yeah. Oh. Is that... There we go. Stay there. I'll come to you. Okay, that points it downwards. And since we already pointed it in the right correct the right direction, it's already activating the system that we need it to. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, now we can get back through this rope here. There. I just realized here. They're both in love with each other, but they are very bad at showing it. Yeah. Uh, now, how do we safely get down from here? Mm. Let's see. Um, yeah. How can this? <laughs> can the camera stop making that whooshing noise? Let's see. Uh, oh, we can jump this. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Welcome to Prince of Persia, the fourth game in the franchise about, if I remember correctly. There was the first original game, just called Prince of Persia. Then there was a second one in the same 2D style. Uh, then there was Prince of Persia 3D. And, well, then we come to the sense of time here. Is it a reboot? Uh, you could see it as such. 
We're all different timelines, as often is gone with that as well. Okay, just that shortcut a little bit. Not really sure why those are there, since we can just run up these walls and get it that way. Uh, come on. There we go. Um, how Probably do... that to punish people that are not being... Uh, that don't pay attention. How do we get from here to there? Because if, I'm pretty sure if we fall, it is a big enough drop to kill us. Hmm. How do we get back down? With our knees intact. <laughs> Let's see. And yeah, if I remember correctly, this is one of the first games where parkour really became a thing in the industry. Yeah, I think there was some minor parkour in the older games, but not to this level. Yeah. Let's see. Parkour in this case being wall running and such. Not just the jump from anything to anywhere sort of thing that is in, often called parkour in a lot of places, which I just call just getting over stuff. Hmm. Actually, there's a ladder down there. We could probably use that. Jump over to that pillar and then get down from there. Okay. That looks like the safest way to go down. So, yeah. There. Let's move up a bit. And go. Okay. Yep, no, no. Yep. 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 Slow motion. Okay, I'd forgotten that that was an ability you had in this game. Okay. We'll, we'll have to use that. I I <laughs> I tapped the the R button or the time button in this uh, as it would probably be called uh, because I was expecting to have to rewind there. Hmm. Actually, how do we get to there as well? There's a damaged wall. Let's see. There's no water for us to safely fall into. Definitely not falling down over in that corner. Oh dear. And all my I ate up wrinkles. <laughs> How do but we I, progress? I, do have, I have more, but I'm not gonna open it for Here's the thing, bring us one of those things I rarely buy, due to they all be too good. Yeah, just the, the kind of thing where you just don't, <laughs> you just keep eating them even though you know you should stop. Yeah, and I had, I had times when they were on this very big sale, I bought a few, and ended up almost eating three of those tubes in one go. At that moment I realized, I should probably not buy these again. <laughs> Today I just bought them for... But basically, I two for price of one. Or, no, no, for, for reduced price, not for one. No, for some reason they said buy max my amount of three, which... I don't get whether it's right that, like that at times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I bought it for... It was on sale, and it was Prince of Persia premiere today. <laughs> Let's see, where the hell do we need to get down here? That is how we got up here. Uh, no, we got up there through the middle, then there, then there, and then around and up. Oh, more people! Hello there! Uh, uh, something, something, warlord. Lord? <laughs> Battle Warlord. Hello and welcome to the stream. <laughs> How are you doing today? And Hello welcome and welcome. To, welcome to the Prince of Persia Sands of Time. We were currently trying to figure out how to get down from here. <laughs> uh, let's see. I remember all these games. I still have them on PS3. Nice. We're playing it on the on the computer at the moment. 
Yeah, mm. my my first time seeing this game was on PS3 with a friend. And again, I, I think I said this earlier stream, and the last one that it was, I think it was a one of those PlayStation 3 specials, where we got all three on the same disc or inside the same uh, case disc folder, where all three games were inside. Okay. Seriously, though, where do we need to climb down from here? I'm, I'm, I'm fully not seeing it. Like if we, this is how we got up, but we can't get back to the the wall there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It started for me from Sands of Time, then Warrior Within, Two Thrones, Prince of Persia, and Forgotten Sands. Uh, but not replayed them in over ten years. Okay. About okay. the same for me. <laughs> yes, yeah, I have played these in forever. They just may remember, I have played Prince of Persia. Oh? It was not with my friend. It was back in PS2. Okay. On what in? Hmm. Yeah, the first Prince of Persia that I ever played was actually Prince of Persia 3D. I still have that game somewhere, I think. Oh, it's not exactly. It's not exactly good. It's certainly functional, <laughs> but it wouldn't really compare much to time it to today. Let's see. Still, the original three games, that being uh, the original Prince of Persia, then there was one with fire something in the subtitle, and Prince of Persia 3. There are still a nice enough collection of games. They, they certainly play different than these, since you have to be a lot more patient. Or, well, patient in your platforming, though you have to actually, you actually have a time limit on those. Not on 3D, I think. Uh, let's see. Once in Moon Eye Life I, at a time, I was thinking of doing a speedrun on them, but don't know when. I did not plan. Okay. Uh, you mean the original 3 up uh, there? But it would be interesting to see someone uh, <clears throat> speedrun these games. Like, speedrunning is something I don't personally do, but it is interesting to see people just dissect the game down to its basics and such. Oh, wait, I think I... Yes, I see where we need to go down. It's over there. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. Like, I don't hate speedrunners. i just not a fan of speedrunning. The only thing I would value speedrunning is if there are some parts of the game I feel like maybe speedrunners have some way of getting through this uh, annoying place a bit smoother without Probably. breaking the game. Yeah, personally, that is what uh, I'm not really interested in breaking a game just by finding every little flaw in its code and such. Uh, but it is very interesting to see just how much a game can be circumvented and broken through the, the flaws in the engine and such. Yeah, I think my biggest problem with speedrunning is like, or rather, I think it goes like this if I meet the person who never played a game instead of playing it normally first time they want to speed run it on the first try yeah that's just not a good idea yeah that that, ah, that's that, what that just me just feel like re really what about the story like i like your gameplay but i also like a good story yeah come on friends Sometimes I can forgive some gameplay if it's a bit rough, if it's a very good story. Now what? There was one more symbol. You remember? It was in the main hall. Let's see the main hall. Hmm? You are right? <laughs> I'm kind of like you choking. What? what? You make some sort of sputtering sound for a moment. That wasn't me. Okay. That was the that game. Was hmm. Okay. I see. Now you you mean that? Go. Yeah, I, I heard some sort of sputtering sound, and I thought it came from you. There we go. Maybe it sounded like it sputtered when the, I noticed the character talking, but. Let's see. Let's head over that way. 
And we'll finally have some progress here, even though we are headed towards the bloody spikes. Oh dear. I was half expecting that to happen. Yeah, you were not wrong. You were heading towards the spikes. Okay. Straight at them. Yeah, it's it's always nice to see someone uh, in chat who knows these games out as well. So yeah, Ooh, I, yeah. I hope you enjoy the show, uh, Battle Warlords and Age Nine. Uh, let's go. Let's not continue that way. And just continue over here instead. Yeah, for we, we have times where we had a quote-unquote expert arrive in the best moments where we are about to get stuck yeah <laughs> let's see okay how are you supposed to get to these places if they're all bricked up yeah we have a switch here that does okay that opens these up then we have this over here, which we're going to bring in. We'll have to reflect light through these door, <coughs> through these bricked up rooms to that or or not. Okay. Huh? Okay, then. Oh. Oh, okay. I just got yeah. stuck on something else. Oh dear. Then we pull this one aside. Right. Okay, Wait. I see. We need to put in the other. Uh, we need to put in the other mirror here. The mirrors make sound. Yeah, they make sound when they're reflecting. Uh, oh, something in the chat. Let's see. Uh, my best part I enjoy of the game, Sands of Time, was not much the fighting, but the puzzles and the jumping and having to use my brain. Yeah, they, they don't really hold your hands with this as they do in some modern games. Like, yeah. Uh, God of War Ragnarok has had a lot of complaints about that. We missed it. Actually, my favorite, like, you would could call those foresights a bit of a helping hand, but not really. They only give you slight clues of what might have happened, but they don't give you full-out solution. You yeah. opened the gate. Ah, there we go. That That's what she was talking about. I thought she you know, was talking about, like, the, the grand hall where we had to fight our <laughs> sand-possessed father. Okay. Now we just clamber down from here. And yeah, the, the, the platforming is nice, and the the heck happened there? It does. Yep, yeah, it does leave you alone to well think things through and just look around to try and fix things or figure out the puzzle. And hello, that's a fancy blade. But don't no, break it immediately. Or rather, don't blunt it! Nothing to say? Okay. Ah, there's a switch, or a thing to pull. Uh, let's see, I played all the God of War games and from the last two. Okay, I've never played any of the God of Wars. I do have uh, the second last one, but I haven't actually played that. I've seen a bit uh, of uh, of the second last one, and I've seen some clip of the last one, and yeah, sorry, I, I, I'm not into God of War. Now, I, I have don't... seen playthroughs of all of them, of all of the original three, uh, and one of the side games. They had a side um, game. Of course, there were side games. Oh, oh where dear. are we here now? Okay. Some sort of stellarium or something? Probably not the right word for it. Uh, 
Yes, you're not that impressive anymore. Well, the moment I thought he was attacking his friend. Okay, there we go. Thank you for waiting. Up, ow. Okay. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that to happen. I think that's the first time we've seen one of them go over the edge. Quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this blade has given us another... He was trying to counter us there. Ow. He has given us another damage boost. This is a rather small space to be fighting on. Thank you, Para. For not putting that one in my ass. Up. Yeah, they, they are definitely trying to counter us. Distraction. Grab this one. Give you a smack. Ooh. I was going for the red one, but I'll take a blue. Yeah, I I can see him, Farah. I'm not going to try a oh and pull up a parry. Oh dear. But I was to say, I really like the helmets. Like, yeah, they it's make stylized. sense. What, what? They make sense. It's not overly designed or such. Yeah, like it, it is stylish, but it's st the decorative style is not hampering the practicality. Like, it, it, it's just a decorative extra plating on the helmet in the shape as the rest of the helmet. It basically is decoration, but also the way an extra layer of protection for your forehead. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, I'm playing this on PC, uh, Battle Warlords. There should be a way to make this thing go up. See if you can find a switch. What makes you think... Never mind. <laughs> it's proven true so far, Farah. <laughs> the prince is developing a gamer's instinct, and you've gotten yourself stuck. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Bunch of swinging, switches, and clambering. <laughs> well, it's been a bit since we've seen the prince die in one of these. Yeah, like this, this thing, what I talked about earlier, I could say some calling this hand holding, but I'm not sure if you would call it this hand holding. It's hinting. Yeah. And let's see. Uh, old comments from Battle Warlord, God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok, I do not have. Uh, yeah, it's 2018 that I have. I don't have Ragnarok. Um, I have seen a playthrough of God of War 2018, and hmm, Done. I think I I'll want to play through it on my story. own before I get or watch Ragnarok. I think it, I think it'd be more interesting if I get it myself. I've heard good things about it, and Farah has gotten herself unstuck whilst we passed out. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I tried to watch it. Yak said can play it. Yeah, just after he's really funny on, like he was funny, but the game itself. Oh, I'm sorry to say it, it just bored me. Yeah, you're not really the action type. There we go. We just had to give her uh, a little bump. I would say I'm a bit action. I like action games as well, but just the story itself that did not work for me for some one. reason. Shall I pull it? Not yet. Wait till I'm on the platform now. Uh, let's see. For me to play this on P a PC, I do not. Uh, I don't know if I would find it easier 
and then how I played it on yeah, play it on console, PlayStation 3. But that is me. Yeah. <clears throat> I've grown up playing mostly with mouse and such, even in yeah, <laughs> even in with racing games and such. But controllers are very useful where they can be used. But I yeah, don't I, think it'll respond to the controller that I have. I, I'm used to both, actually. But some games I usually end up preferring in one over the other, depending on uh, what game it is. Like, a strategy game I probably prefer, or some strategy games I probably prefer on PC. Honestly, I could do some good controls for the console. So they get, they get, like if it's like real time strategy, then it's probably better on uh, PC. But if it's just turn based, then the console is just fine. Yeah, since you have a lot more precision control with a mouse. Yeah. Hmm. Game's being a bit annoying with the chip damage landings again. I will, if you come to fighting games like So Calibur. I probably prefer controller, since I have no idea how you pre prepare the fighting style on a keyboard for those games on a PC. Yeah, nothing against uh, console players, uh, Battle Warlord. Everyone has their own preferences when playing with games. Yeah, same. And yeah, basically, here you can say, say this. If someone... But it has happened. People have... In real life, ask me PC or console. I ask, I was like, both? Why are you asking? I'm just curious. For PC, usually better. I just, what are you on about? PC and console have their own advantages and disadvantages. And then I mentioned that one of the benefits with console is they usually outlive the PCs. Yeah, technically, uh, generally, it's yeah, it is cheaper to play games on console since you don't have to upgrade parts and such. Uh, but performance-wise, uh, PC games often beat out the consoles, but that there's also a lot more problems you can run into due to, well, parts not working Here properly together. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of balancing out. So whenever people talk about the, the supreme way to play games, I just walk out. Yeah. For I like console and PCs. I, I, I Come on. why pick a side? Yeah, because people often yeah always gra Look, gravitate right. towards factions. Wait, let's see where this corridor goes. Hey. All right, hey. you can take the crack. <laughs> uh, okay, that was that was pretty funny. I'm up here. That was quick. That okay, that opens the gate. I was half expecting another layer of traps to activate when she pulled that. Yeah, I think I missed a joke there. Yeah, the, the, the prince suggested taking a look down the corridor first. And then when all the traps popped up, he said, yeah, you can take the crack to get around all of this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> for which he can't. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, Battle Warlord. I mean, I do play some games on my PC, though. I got World of Tanks and World of Warships I have on PC. And I had a company of heroes before on my PC. Or I had. Uh, uh, but for these games like God of War, Prince of Persia and Uncharted, I might find them hard for me to do them on PC and not on, on my console. That uh, makes sense. Uh, yeah. Con Controllers typically are a lot more accurate for platformers like this. Oh yeah, and I usually think about that like, do I want this on console or my, or my PC? I can usually think of that like, which uh, one do I feel like I would control best for me? Oh. And also, another reason I think like, uh, do you think I usually say to people that's probably good, good you have. What's the worst that can happen? There you go. Right, I was thinking is... I find it usually better for a person to, if possible, have a PC and a console or two. 
Pro, it can be a issue if you have all your games in one basket. Damn. If you are trying to link to the Activision, really? I was about to say, wasn't this exactly a map where the vision took place? <laughs> okay, we didn't fully enact it. Uh, but Is the that ending clip? was the same. Is that a damn clip? Uh, uh, come on, Stream Deck, respond. Okay, too late now, I think. <laughs> okay, let me dear. turn the camera a bit so I have a better line here. There. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, like. For example, if both them break. Careful. You be careful. If for once we can hear them both. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. But yeah. For if you have an issue with any of them, at least you have a backup to, to on something else to play on. Yeah, uh, this way, that way. Oop. Okay, those are a, a size bigger. Yeah, for example, I have a, a PlayStation 4 and a Switch as well, and some older consoles. On, oh, one of you again. No, but you're different, Here I think. I, I can't open the gate. Is that a bird head? Ow. Oh yeah, these guys do that as well. The, the captains of the guards. Okay. Oh, these guys are a step higher. Yep. I, I thought they had owl faces, but no. Yeah, they have face guards. Or neck guards more. Something Persians did actually use. Okay. And I... Wait, do we use that? Do we use up our recharge when we stab? No uh, idea. Uh, you're gonna play the rest of them, or within two thrones? Uh, yeah, I plan to play most of the Prince of Persia games. Yeah, Not Forgotten yeah. Sand, though, at the moment. The From what I've heard, it's not really impressive compared to the other games. Oh. Yeah, these guys hit hard. Yeah. Dude, again, they might be one of my favorites due to... This is one of the cases where you see a rare fantasy game in this early on that does the hip armor correct. Like, you see that those plates on the front? That's where you want them there. You don't want them on the side, you want them there and then you want to flat them on the back as well, but... Yeah, you want them to cover up your front of your legs like that. And That's yeah, it does. Happened. It doesn't indeed look like when we stab with the dagger that it costs us our recharge time or our rewind time. Yeah, I'll see about Forgotten Sands. Can uh, we can't skip this. Uh, but at the moment, the plans are really only for. Sands of Time, where we within, two thrones, up, slow blow, literally and figuratively. Ooh. But I'll, I'll see about possibly adding Forgotten Sands to the list. I haven't really heard anything too bad oh. about it, uh, but nothing too special about it either. Ew. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I was talking about the low blow earlier, and then I just stab him in the dick. <laughs> you stabbed him in the ass! Learn your nerd to me! Anatomy. I, I said that right. Anatomy. Uh. Yeah. This is that slow motion. <laughs> what the heck? It's there slow motion music too. Yeah. Up, out. Can I rewind past that? 
There we go. But it, it also slows us down by about the same. So it'll give us more reaction time. But for the most part, that is a... Yeah, a bit of a two-sided blade. You mean double-edged sword, right? Yeah. Okay, luckily that wasn't too long. Well, it took you three hours. Okay, time to refill. Let's drink that up, because it's probably the only water we'll find in a bit. Okay. Uh, is there anything you could tell us about uh, the Forgotten Sands Battle Warlords? Uh, hopefully without any spoilers, but uh, any judgments you have on its quality? Uh, we have actually tried drinking wood before the fight and we realized we could. Yeah. Only to disastrous effect. Yeah, because they will stab us in the back. Okay, this is the Hall of Learning Courtyards. Uh, yes, it was an observatory that we went through, not a stellarium. The, I'll that might count as a. Time. That might count as another word for it. <laughs> you ever tried drinking? Yeah, we tried that. Uh, it is possible, but you are taking a massive risk with it. Yeah, that, that, that was the question I just spoke yeah. of. <laughs> <coughs> I've been healing I run. Well, I've never claimed that my memory was any good. Like, I've... I've... <laughs> I've... Yeah, I've said numerous times of how bad my... I've forgotten that they do that. <laughs> uh, get back here, Bluebird. These are angry cranes! It's like we stick a bottle rocket up their ass. Yep. You, okay. you mean... You mean a, a, a Coca-Cola with... What's, what, a Mentos? Uh, yeah. What are you doing? I don't yeah. know. I'm working it out as I go. <laughs> Yeah, that makes about sense. The prince is not planning ahead at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, play Forgotten Sands and see what you think when you get there. I have an uh, opinion on the game, but uh, let's say I liked it. Okay. Uh, I'll consider adding it for the moment. We, we could put it on the showcase Sunday. To give it it's about half an hour and see what ooh, if we like that or not. Bit of a special uh, showcase. Really just lightly pushed. <laughs> we fall over. <laughs> it, never be it never fails to amuse me. There is something glitched with the engine that launches the birds up and then it causes them to crash down like a sand meteor. Yeah. I think they appeared in... Matt Mozzo's video as well. Okay, I'll have I, to go look that video up then. Uh, it, it, it's, it's entirely serious, actually. Okay, that's the best you can say without spoilers. No, th thank you all the same. Uh, I, 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 I watched them long, long ago when you first announced you were planning to play this during our first year. It took us a long time before we finally started playing. Yeah. But they did watch it back then to double check for we had already by then run into issues with older games. Yeah. So for Actually, we... Go ahead. Uh, uh, so for maybe I've watched some videos and know beforehand how they are with modern systems. Yeah, we have been able to find some fixes for some old games. Like, for example, we've managed to force this game to work in a windowed mode while keeping the <clears throat> 4x3 perspective. After all, she is a Maharaja's daughter. A conquered one, but still, her blood is royal. Besides, what better way to tame her insolence? 
It's not so bad for a woman to have a little spirit. It's a challenge. Yeah, that's not going to work, Prince. <laughs> oh, for love of. Uh, like, he means well, but he's a bit of a jackass. Let's... Oh, I hear sand nearby. And scarabs. Okay. Let me see. Born Battle Warlord? That... That's a sight? Alright. Uh, oh, that's alright, alright. <laughs> yes, I... I just... Realize why you're still there. Okay, so let's grab that. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> to explain a bit, yeah, to explain a bit. Uh, oh, hello, it's more these again. I think. Nope. There you are. Come on, it can't be much further. Uh, to explain a bit, bit, not blit. Why? Why is my tongue getting tied? Uh, I'm screen sharing OBS to Drakir over Discord, uh, which means he does see, he, he gets things a little bit pixelated when the game, well, when OBS is not behaving itself, or yeah. OBS or Discord more likely. Yeah, but that does also mean I get to see things directly, like yeah, in people, real time. If I, yeah, for if I were trying to watch commentator with this through Twitch. I would yeah. have delays between 12 seconds and all that. Yeah, which would kind of diminish his ability to co-commentate. Or even be used for as an extra brain. Is there anything over... Okay, no, there's just that back here. I was hope. I was thinking we might find another fountain uh, room. Yeah, however, let me say this. Even when it's not pixelated, it's like, no, it's not pixelated at all. However, the chat put X sometime Please sometimes it will be too small almost to read. Yeah, because I can't I can't uh, screen share at too high of a resolution because OBS wants to be paid. You know, not Discord uh, wants to be paid for that. I think these took three hits before, so our blade has definitely been upgraded. Oh, I love this game's music. It's not overstated music, and it's but it doesn't, uh, it isn't too low tone, so to say. Yeah, but also it's really unique. Like, how would you say? It, it feels like well, it's very atmospheric. It, wait, what? Atmospheric. Yes, I'm saying, I'm saying like, it, like, yes, it has the Middle East influence, influence, I think I said it wrong there. But I have mixed in a bit of metal or rock. Yeah. Don't put that in my shoulder, Farah. Look, that's the bridge to the Tower of Dawn. <laughs> Yeah, she's taking a few risky shots here and there, huh? Look out. Okay, I think these are new. So they they are about the same shape as the Unix, so I think they're reskin more than anything. I, I think we have seen one of these before, but only for a short moment. Help me. A bit unsure. Yep. They do look unsettling. I do like that the we can't block every swing by just holding the block button, like, and that we do need to keep an eye out so we don't get well our legs sweeped rather literally. Thank you for catching that one, Farah. Damn it! It does come at the. Yeah. Now, at the price for them that they can easily hit their allies as well. So, what did their blade bounce off of there? Uh, 
was a mistake. How did how did that hit us? We were too Okay. Hmm. He slashed your belly. Yeah, he, he he did an overhead app. He did an overhead that should have missed us unless his body counted as a hitbox there. Let's just let's just take you out for the moment. Or just take you out completely. What are they supposed to be? Are they, they have armor, but they are we Oops. I think I know what area we're headed for here. So that'll explain it in a second. Two first. And you. Even more of you. Take you out immediately. You are the highest threat. That was not what I was going for, Prince. <laughs> Okay. Good first shot. That didn't happen. <laughs> okay, Look, just dramatic zoom out. Did that barrel do something to you, <laughs> Barrow, or something? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Hello. Don't mind me as I plunge that blade almost in your toes. <laughs> okay, I thought I blocked that. Okay. What was with the camera there? Okay, got this one, and yep, he he hit the other guy. It missed me. Can I get a drink? Um, oh, oh, okay, the big guy got hit by the small one this time. I, I'll take that hit. Yep, ow. Um. Okay, one, two, and three. There we go. Clean the fields. And well, then these two had to get in and ruin the fun. Here we go. Okay. Quickly. The music is still going. There's something still somewhere. Ah, uh, oh, there you are. Okay. I wouldn't say that counts in the middle of combat, but it's close to. That was the last one, really. Okay. And I see a little... Yep. There we go. Almost another sand tank. Okay. And let's save. How far along are we now? Okay, on the ramparts. Done. I'll start the story Sounds from here this time. Okay then. Oop, oh, there's another cloud over there, so let's go grab that. Yeah, oh, yeah, we can probably climb back up here. 
That should be another tank for us. Like, I, yeah. Collecting sand clouds adds tanks. And then it's extracting sand from enemies that uh, causes that fills the power bars on the <clears throat> on the right of them. Okay. We're getting close to this damned tower and the hourglass of time at the top of it. All right. Uh, I just realized, uh, are we are we I going norm? Like you should. We're going for our normal time. If we'd go for a long stream, uh, we would have started an hour earlier. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, Vakir has a bit of a hard limit on the time that he can be here for streams. Oh, right. I probably could do... Be careful on the stairs. Right, I was gonna say, I could probably go uh, go from 8 to 11, as I usually go to bed by 11. Ow. Well, the prince has gone to bed, involuntarily. This ain't what I mean with the music. Yeah, this is definitely more rock. In my father's palace was a prison much like this. I had never set foot inside. Now here I was, myself a prisoner seeking an escape. Yep. Those enemies with the hooks are interrogators slash torturers, I'm guessing. Oh, that's horrifying. But, yeah, I used to go up to bed like 12 and half 11 or something, but... I've been unable to get back to the sleep cycle for some reason. Yep, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Ow. Well, we know there's a sand cloud there now. Well, that, that's very much how I feel if we were to stream out to 11. <laughs> I would probably sit here and go... Bonk. Uh, ...try to talk, but end up being rather distracted or sleepy. <laughs> uh. And also, it's a bit for sake of the neighbors as well. I don't know... My volume too much now with my headphones on. Yeah, typically when you're wearing headsets or just anything in your ears, you talk a little bit louder because you're used to hearing your own voice when you are talking. When you yeah. hear it less, it's a bit of a reflex to talk louder. Yeah, it's not too bad with these headphones, luckily enough. I'm getting used to it. And especially now I have been learning to close my windows a lot, but still... There could be still be a moment where I get jump scared or something. Or accidentally start laughing loudly. It's probably not the best idea to do at 11. Yeah. Also, we have another new guy. I'm guessing we can call him a mauler. Because he's using a big-ass maul. More by sledge. Why did I just have one hiccup from that? Okay, music is getting into a bump again. Okay, knock you down as well. No, backwards. <laughs> yeah, maneuvering would be a lot easier if a controller wanted to work with this game. So that does lead to annoying moments where I, the game is sending me, or sending the prince into a different direction than I want. You're a bit surprised that we can actually <laughs> block that thing. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to. 
that's a weapon you do while I'm locked. That's a weapon you wanna dodge from. Okay, give me this one. If the dagger of time absorbs their souls somehow as well, it's going to be really freaking busy in that dagger. Uh, okay, still got him. can go over these guys, so they're not as annoying as the guards, the guard captains and the blue guards. Oop, more. Yep. More interrogators. Yep. Okay, get me out of the corner. Too late on that one. <laughs> okay. Apparently, there's disagreement in the ranks. Ow. Oh, I thought he was about to kill his own friend there. Thank you. No, I think he, he actually did there kill his small friend. He did. Oh, it's, he revived. Yeah, they can't kill each other. They can only knock each other down. The only thing that will kill these is the dagger or apparently just a lot of gravity. Can I... Nope. I can't pull the one-two punch. I should try using that more. I thought the this... The feet look... Different. Yeah, they, they've only got two toes. Yeah, and also, so other also have only two toes as well. So they're more than your zombified. They're more mutated. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure most of the guards weren't this size before well, all of the sand got released. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Oh. I thought this was a cloud, not a fountain. Or is this going to be bats? Wait, are we approaching the end? Uh, yes, yeah, 79%. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Prisoner <laughs> seeking an escape. I'll the story from here. Oh dear. I don't think we're able to finish it in this stream, though. That, that was about 20%. Right. I will marry her. I'll tell her the first chance I get. It's time we put an end to all this fencing about and not saying what one really means. We've made it this far. It's foolish to deny what we both feel. Yeah, I, I don't think we'll be able to finish the other 25% in the about half hour that we have left. I'm surprised to find clean water down here in the torture pit. Hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, the, the thing that is with the prince is that he's a lot more cocky when he's on his own and such. Hmm. Okay. We need something to hold that down. Is there anything we can move around here? Yes, there is. Uh, yeah, yeah, typically we stream for two hours. I am thinking about upgrading it to three hours when we can by starting early. But that depends on if we can start early. Yeah. So, typically, our starting time is 8 p.m. Uh, <clears throat> GMT plus one. So about uh, yeah Amsterdam time and such. Let's see. Uh, maybe 30 minutes, not enough. Rest your finish on another stream, I guess. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of blood. 
Okay. I think that's. Oh, hill. Yep. That's Wait. not only blood. Ah, there. That's mm. blood, water, and. Oh. There are a lot of stuff that we don't want to go for a swim in. <laughs> Okay. What? Um, uh, oh, you United Kingdom. Yes, you meant United Kingdom. For the love of. I was wondering what the heck is he referencing? Who is. <laughs> uh, wait, did it go the other way there? Uh, wait, what? How did it flip like that? Okay. Smarter trap than I was thinking. Okay. Uh, then we're sort of neighbors because I'm in the Netherlands. <laughs> Warlord. Sweet myself. But yeah, me and Helion are in the same time zone. I. What the heck? Is it. Is it one hour difference between our, our zones? Uh, between oh. UK and uh, us? Oh. Uh, maybe. Oop, that was that was luck. I, that was both luck when I managed to dodge the blades. <laughs> we Ooh, actually ran between me. them. Uh, yeah, definitely torture chamber. torture chamber. It was the first time I had seen such devices at close range, close enough to touch. Where were the men whose trade it had been to apply the question, to extract the answer their king sought? Indeed, there was one. In the end, they had met the same fate as their victims. Guards and prisoners made equal by the sands of time. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think we've seen any enemies that could have been the, the victims, though. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be annoying. Let's see, is there any way to get these... Be slowed or some way? Yep. Why are you not jumping off? Yep. Come on. Uh. This is what you get when you make have your action button also be your wall run button. It can get really freaking annoying at times when you're trying to be precise with things. Okay. Yep. Why are you... One, two, three, four... And just enough. I was actually Ooh. expecting to have to go back down there. Of course. <laughs> and they're gone. Okay, I can hear a cloud. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, just, just gonna have to be fast for a bit. And How many of these bloody things do you need around here? Like, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine in each row. Wait, wait. Hey, I think that's the wrong question. Look around and see what the real question shall be. Why they are up on the freaking walls? Yeah, why are they on the floors like a damn collection? Uh, maybe they are. Yep. But... Oh, I think I know why. If so, Why are basically, you... if, you, if you drag someone in and they see that, that might be enough to make them say anything. Yeah. There we go. But then again, that is usually the case with uh, uh, actual torture. People will say anything. People will say anything to make the pain stop. So you will get an answer. But it's, come on, unlikely to be the actual truth. 
Why are you not... Uh, okay, just... I'm moving my hand from the mouse to the space bar for this. Yeah, nope. There is a, a, a reason for that to may want to say the truth as well. Since if you tell them an answer, they investigate and realize you lied to them. Yeah. You think you can guess what happens then? Yeah. More pain until you actually give them the answer they wanted. So then also the case they just try to force you to confess did something you did not do as well, who has also done a lot. Yeah, torture is just completely unreliable as a source of, ex of a method of extracting factual information. Ooh, that, this is very loose. Really? Okay, at least we're not getting hurt as we go down. The, the window for the for the jump is a bit annoying. Let's see. That part, the time puzzles took me a bit to do them. Yeah, the, these are rather annoying. And yeah. there's the clouds. What's with you in clouds? <laughs> and that's everything full. Okay, prob they probably put that there because... A lot of people would get really annoyed with having to rewind a lot in these parts. Okay. This has got to sting him a lot more now that he doesn't have his, his armor to protect him anymore. Ooh. Which makes it is it it's a bit I ironic I guess. Typically in games, as you go, you get more and more armored, but instead the prince is getting stripped more and more. Oh dear. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I love good music. Yeah. Get rid of you. I'll take that hit. Captain is gone. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the combat in this game, at its at its surface, is a little bit shallow, but it does really work. Ow! Yeah. It has more depth than you actually think. I'm I'll take an easy win. I said I'll take an easy win. Okay, yeah. you can use your enemies against other enemies as well. Which is something that I always like in games. That they can't magically not hit each other. That they magically can't hit each other for some reason. Yeah. Uh, uh. He looked and used his friend out. Uh, not the one I was going for, but okay. Up. Up. Ow. Ow. In the meantime, he's just floating. Ah, uh. uh, damn it. Okay. Yeah, you, you have to be you have to be careful with when you stun them. Yeah, uh, I think I just realized mm -hmm. the enemies have the same powers as you. Not really. They can't jump over like that, but they they uh, can guards and such. I, I mean, like when you knock them out, Help they re uh, revive. True. Surprised that didn't hit me. Or 
Maybe no, it may not be. It may just be a sort of a revival for yours. Is going back in time. They just well get rebooted. Ow. Okay, that would that blow certainly would have just removed the prince's jaw. Okay, I'm getting a bit sick of this now. The camera isn't really helping too much here and there. Well, what is it? But you talked about uh, what I his want. army missing. I don't think his army would help against these weapons here. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, there's a captain. There's two captains, Sue. Not, not the power I wanted there, but okay. okay let's get back and back. Okay. Taking a risk, removing this one. Okay. Let's try being a bit more mobile. Because I can also drag them away from each other. No, you don't. Focus on me. Ow. Move you quick. Yeah. Quick. Okay, just these two. Nope. Of course, it can't be that easy. There we go. Now most of them are busy. Right in the bomb sheet. Another one. Just how many? How many? How many people does the Maharaja need to break his prisoners' knees? Is that? I'm pretty sure that's what these guys are for. Just breaking bones. Oh, no, that's the two captains. It might be the smiths or construction workers. Okay, everyone's busy. Be gone. Let's be sacked. Yeah, the word is bisect. It's uh, 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 Take that. Seen that one coming. Could have seen it for multiple seconds. I was going to absorb this one, but oh well. Quickly. Even more. Yep. That one's going for Pharaoh. He's rather failing at it. They have a long wind-up time for those low blows, so I really should see them coming. On with you. Now there's four of them. Three. Well, not any new ones now.
quick. He's going for Pharah. Okay, last one standing. You we can just get rid of. There we go. Okay, that, that got pretty close. Thank you, Battle War. Uh, thank you, Warlord, if I call you that simply. Uh, shorten it a bit. Okay. Save points. And we've got enough time to head for another one. I think slash hope. Or not, if we're going for a gauntlet. Okay, we are we are getting there towards the end. At last, we're here. Done. Hmm. I'll start the story from here next time. It's all right. It's me. It's me. Look, at last we're here. Tower of Dawn. Okay, let's go find some water somewhere. And yeah, that that was a bit of a reaction, but he saw her take the dagger in his vision. The dagger which has kept him alive so far. Let's be honest, without the dagger of time, the prince would have been minced meat <laughs> at the very start of the game. Yeah, the question be why she do it, and why was it there? Like, it shows thoughts, but not the full picture. Yeah, and it's it's all possible Done. futures. I'll start the story from here next time. Because if it was just the straight up future, then the prince would have died after the first of these visions. Hmm. Okay, I, yeah. I think we should call it a little bit early here. Because I get the feeling the next save point is going to be a very long time ahead from here. Yeah, I have a feeling too. For, yeah, this is one of the cases where we both have a good gut feeling for this. Yeah. Thank you for the follow, Battle Warlord 11. Or 111. <laughs> I'll oh. take it as you enjoyed the show, and hopefully you'll enjoy the show further as we go with this. <laughs> Again, the double ping. I, j I just cannot figure out what is causing that. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, if you're not about next time, uh, next time that we will stream this will be next Tuesday. Because we, ha we have a bit of a schedule that we follow. We stream Tuesdays, Thursdays. Uh, then we stream our so-called main quest game, which is going to be Sands of Time for now. Then on the weekends, we stream on both Saturday and Sunday, when possible. But we typically do side stuff then. Yeah, and, uh, and we do... Oh, sorry. Uh, go ahead, you first. I was say, we, we will try to do double streams on Saturday and Sunday even, possibly. Yeah. Uh, with that meaning, we'll typically try to stream from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. and then from 8 to 10. Uh, so yeah, no long streams on the weekend. And uh, yeah, if there, is, even if you can't see the streams when they, well, when they are going live, there is also let's see, this should work. Uh, we have a YouTube channel where we store the vods of the streams. Uh, I'm actually not as behind on the uploads as before, so I might need to remove that little bit there at the end. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so. Oh no, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's exit the game and head over here. Yep. Stream deck. There we go. Uh, but before we go, we have a, a bit of a ritual that we do. Oh, but that was not supposed to be full screens. There we go. Uh, we're going to look for someone to raid. So let's go to Twitch. I'll change the screen what share. Ritual? How is raiding someone a ritual? <laughs> uh, it's a habit or it's something we try to do when possible. 
Anyways then, <clears throat> let's see the people who are online. We have Nico Silverado, a friend from a friend, who is doing art streams at the moment. Let me double check. The place is muted as always, but it's always better to be sure than not. Then we have Lifegrow, who is streaming Ross. Are you are you playing with your mic? No, I, I was holding in a burp. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Azra Arcane, who is streaming Resident Evil 4. She's still using that uh, <laughs> interesting model. Uh, Jimmy McGinger is again streaming Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. So they, they aren't giving up on that, even if they were a bit iffy on it previously when we looked. Um, I'm a flanker is streaming Crusader Kings 3. <clears throat> Next up, we have WBPL76, who is streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We'll get to that at some point. Uh, Derpy Do is again streaming Call of the Lamb. Apparently they're streaming it on, they're playing it on the highest difficulty and they're nearing the end of the game from what I saw last of, uh, time. Holy. <clears throat> and then we have Halloween 4545 who is streaming Marauders, which is a multiplayer game similar to uh, Escape from Tarkov. I have not really played these much, if any, but I would be interested in giving it a try. Is that an MP40 that they're using in space? Okay. You know, I know that gun is supposed to be reliable, but not as reliable in like five centuries or something. Uh, anyways, last but not least, we have Weird Romance, who is also streaming Resident Evil 4. So, shall we rate one of them, or shall we look at the recommended, Strukir? Hmm. <laughs> Let's I would split here. Okay, split between who? Yeah, I split, split between who, but also my belly is feeling a bit weird at the moment, so it make, it make it a bit harder to decide. Try okay. not to burp or worse at the moment. Uh, let's go raid Azra Arcane again. It's been a bit okay. since we've visited her. Pardon? Okay, copy the name. Flash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Battle Warlords 111 and Just Age 9 for showing up and chilling along a bit. I hope you two enjoyed the show. And thank you as always, Rick here, of course. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, next time we'll stream will be on Saturday. But for now, let's start the raids. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. And, yeah, uh, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for sad monsters. And also, the outro should now have music, uh, though I think the current one I put in is too long. But So, sorry about that. And, yeah, until next time. Be safe, all. <laughs>